All right, for the women on the panel, um, how has being a woman worked for or against you? Um, a lot of people consider Hollywood and filmmaking a boys club. Do you agree or disagree? Well, what's your experience been as a director? I'm interested. <laughs> um, I've never had any problems, but I, I, th I think I've been really lucky. Like, everybody has always given me opportunities. Um, but also, I don't know, I have a feeling I've, I've, sometimes I've felt, I feel it in the industry. I feel, I feel it's there, and I, I'm afraid of the moment that I'm going to encounter it. It hasn't happened so far, but I, I've always tried to surround myself with, you know, people who are not sexist, who are like, you know, who respect people for who they are, not because of their genre or like where they come from, or like, you know, and especially like I feel Colombia, New York is like a great place to be because it's, you know. We are f people from all over the world, and it's like from all, you know, like, it's like doesn't, it really, I felt that it doesn't really matter, that what matters is what you want to do and you want to tell. That should be the case everywhere. And I think it's important that we kind of like, you know, and I, I think that a, a lot of men are on board with us and are trying to help the industry be, be more just, but I think it's important to kind of like be, have this solidarity among women and try to help each other. So, you know, we kind of like balance things a little bit. Yeah, I felt there to be a pretty distinct New York, LA divide on this that I've not, I've been surprised by some of the stuff I've heard, like, like very nice, like male, you know, editors or producers or whatever say, like, I think genuinely a lot of like Hollywood people think that like stories about women are boring. And it's like not, they're not like being sexist, <laughs> you know, it's just kind of like, oh, well, it's just, I'm, I just, I'm not that interested if the protagonist is a woman. Like I've heard, heard people say that like pretty much word for word. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's so surprising because it's like, this guy, he's a nice, you know, I've never been disrespected by this man. I never feel like he treats me differently because I'm a woman. And then literally like, ah. Uh, I don't think I'm sexist, I just don't really like stuff by or about women. That was like pretty much a direct quote that someone said to me the other day, like at lunch. And it's the kind of thing that, you you know, I don't know. I don't really know what you do with that other than you just kind of like, just keep doing your work. And I right now there's this moment where there's all this like press about women in Hollywood and you know, maybe, maybe some of this will affect it, but I think it is definitely a real thing in terms of um, content also, in terms of like how people, like male writers, how they feel about their female characters versus how they feel about their male characters. I, I mean, I definitely think it's a real thing, but I don't know what you really do about it other than to just like do your thing and uh, I don't know. You, you know, this might not be directly, obviously I can't answer what it's like to be a female director. <laughs> um, <laughs> But what I can say is that I'm working on a documentary now uh, about sexual violence actually at a university. And uh, you know, I started, I pitched the network, which is you know, great, the executives there are very enlightened, great open-minded people. And, and the way I pitched the story was that it was gonna be from her point of view, the victim. And what I found, and you know, along the way as she speaks, she's an advocate for women's rights. And as I was filming and filming, I realized that my audience is gonna be 90% male. Because it's, 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 you know, it's a male network, male-driven network, the demo's male. And I'm like, you know, our guy's gonna start turning off the channel. You know, or turning the channel because this, you know, female victim story, and people unfortunately see, oh, I've heard that before. I've heard that before. This isn't really, you know, what they want to see when they tune in to, you know, an ESPN type of network. Um, so what I've, what I realized was that I want to reach as many people as possible because this is such an important topic. And if I want to reach as many people as possible, I have to figure out a way to present the, 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 the film in a way that's going to grab everybody, not just, you know, one demo and want, want not just another. So actually what I found, and this was just from, from filming, is I actually found the perpetrator. 
and I've gotten, and I've filmed with him now, and he takes us into the story, and then we hear her story, as opposed to just starting with her story, you know, with the, with the risk of losing viewers right from the beginning. It'll be on in October uh, of 2016, so tune in. <laughs> we get the more viewers, the better it is. It allows us to uh, make more uh, films. And I guess just one more, th just one more thing I'd say is that the like this film that I'm currently working on, the female characters are kind of unusually um, well balanced. It's kind of like two husband wife teams, and the women are kind of equal characters. And the director is like a great, you know, not sexist man, and he's gotten a lot of pushback from the studios of like not explicit, but kind of like trying to take out jokes that are more. You know, there's some like period jokes in it and stuff like that that they're just like, I, I don't think that's funny. You know, that that's sort of like the line. It's like, I don't think that's funny, not, you know, that's inappropriate or like whatever. But I think that there is a huge like appetite for films that are more specifically like about women and that I have found something with my own writing, so, like an uh, instinct to kind of like write male characters because that's what you see all the time. And I feel like there's this moment now where like, like for instance, like Welcome to Me. I don't know if anyone saw that movie. I love that movie that Kristen Wiig was the star of. And I feel like there is this little bubble that's happening of movies that seem like are kind of trashing the notion of, you know, that it doesn't have the, the men aren't, they're more specifically female point of view. And it's something that I was interested to see in myself when I was writing, having that my instinct was to write male characters because it's what I see. And I've had to kind of try to be like, that's really stupid. You know, I shouldn't be doing this too just because it's what everyone else does. I don't know, Frank, if you if you would agree with me, but I, I have a feeling that TV is a great place for. Well, right like, now, there are it's, a lot of it's, it's it's just starting right now because it's like whatever this sort of like peak of television or its arrival, like the say whatever golden age of the of the many golden ages. The last decade or more has been essentially. Middle age, shows about middle-aged white guys in midlife crisis, like bad dad shows, you know, like uh, from Sopranos to Mad Men to, you know, a whole bunch of them. And I think people are kind of tired of that character, so there's a little bit of an opening at the moment. And I know that um, even the Guild, the Writers Guild, has, a, has it specifically in mind, but there's like an opening for other stories. It's female or others. It's just like a moment where it's like, I'm just tired of guys, you know, I'm a little bit tired of Don Draper. Like, he was great, but it's like, all right, we, we had a decade of that kind of guy. So like right now, there's a real moment. It's like you can feel it happening. It's like an emerging, there's a moment for, for different stories on television at the moment. You know, you're starting to see them creep in.